Hi guys, it's me, Jess Marie. Welcome, welcome back to one of my videos. Welcome to a work week in my life. Full-time orange share fitness coach, part-time sales associate, and currently 32 weeks pregnant. Today's Monday, January 29th. It is 8.36 and I just got to the studio I work the desk at twice a week to take a class with my sister. And I'm pretty excited because I coached this template tonight, but I haven't sat down and actually looked over the template. I know it's a power day on the treadmills, but I have no idea what is in store for the rest of the class so I'm pretty excited to see it and take a class with my sister it's been a few weeks since we've been able to and I haven't even seen her since Christmas so I'm giving her her Christmas gift and she said she also has something for me for my baby shower because my baby shower with my family is this weekend so this week I need to plan an outfit to wear I bought Justin and I sweatshirts that say mom and dad because I want to be cozy I feel like the vibes are chill and I also don't want to hear a billion comments about how my bump looks. I just think that's a little weird. So I'm just gonna cover up and yeah, I pretty much cover it up except for when I'm around Justin and when I'm working out. Anyway, once I leave here, I just plan on cleaning up my house and getting ready for the week, going over my schedule, going over the templates for the week, just to go ahead and prepare myself for what's to come. Yeah, this week is gonna be a pretty good week. Thursday is February 1st. I have another doctor's appointment because now I go to the doctors every other week to make sure everything looks normal. But yeah, February is when my schedule starts getting very weird, so I'm a little nervous about that, but hoping everything works out and hoping I can get enough sleep and yeah if you're already be sure you subscribe down below and let's get our workout on <laughs> Just got home from class. It was very tough. Definitely endurance on the way floor and power on the treadmills, even though it felt like another endurance vlog. But it's 10:17. I am putting some dishes away. Then I'm gonna make a smoothie. Start cleaning up the house before I shower. I really need to wash my hair. But the gift that my sister had to give me was a one hour gift card for a prenatal massage. So I'm so excited to try that out. I've been seeing videos about people getting one and I was really interested in it, but just couldn't get myself to book it for myself. And so that was what she got me and I'm so grateful for it. She did say they have pretty limited days, which is why she gave it to me today instead of waiting for the baby shower. So I'm gonna go in there today and look at my schedule and hopefully I can book something before the baby comes. Just gonna put these dishes away, start cleaning up the house, probably try to find a podcast to listen to, but I think I've listened to all my podcasts for the week and now I just have to wait for more to come out. my smoothie I'm just gonna use what I always use just some mixed berries and two scoops of protein powder with some water still don't have any greens or anything to put with it so just gonna do this a couple shakes So good. Now let's enjoy this and get the house clean. Welcome to the studio. It is now seven o'clock, just finished my three classes, and we cleaned up, and now it's time to go. When I finished cleaning earlier, I was honestly so tired, so after my shower, I got in bed, started going over the template for tonight, and then I read a little and tried taking a nap, but I don't think I actually fell asleep. I think I just closed my eyes for like 30 minutes. But yeah, now it is seven o'clock, leaving work, and I'm about to go do dinner with my dad, and then 
tomorrow I just work the desk in the morning and then we have deep clean at the studio I coach at so I'll do that and for the rest of the day I have no plans so we'll see what I get up to Happy Tuesday vlog. It is 4.22. I just got to the studio I work the desk at and I will be here until 10. I work the desk every Tuesday and Thursday at a different studio than the one I coach at. So it's nice to see different members and I actually started coaching here right after my co-coaching finished. So this is kind of where I started coaching, if you will. But first thing I do when I come in is I send the morning reports every day. If you see my work in my life every week, you already know. I just send a report on our current member numbers, people who have their account frozen. If there's an intro today, I'll send it. Or if there's a milestone to celebrate, that way everyone in the studio knows. And then besides sending this report, I just help with check-ins and anything that people need. And I also have a cleaning list I'll do. So today I'll do the bathrooms, a bunch of other stuff. It's on a sheet right there. I'll also scan papers. Anything that's in there, I'll scan it to the member's account, shred them, and just get that cleared out. And then at 8 o'clock, I can start making calls, try to book some intros for their first class. And yeah, that's about it. The desk usually goes by nice and fast. I realized today, I always complain about having to get up early, but the hardest part is just waking up early and getting out of bed. Because on my drive to either studio I work at, really, I just wake up on the drive, so it's not even that bad. Until I hit a crash later. But usually... I after the desk, I go home and I take a nap. And today, hopefully, I'll still have time to take a nap. At the studio I coach at, we're doing deep clean today at 12. So I'm hoping I can go home, take a nap for at least an hour, but then that's all I have to do for today. So I'm gonna send this morning report, see if there's intros. And then also at the studio, we pre-assign everyone's station based on how they pre-book in the app. So I'll also do that. And yeah, just get this day started. Happy Tuesday. We do have a milestone today, so just fill out the milestone board. Then when they come in, they'll see it and maybe take a picture with it. I think I ended up taking a nap for less than an hour, so I still feel really tired, but it is 2.20. I just got home from deep clean and it went by pretty fast. And we started talking about what's coming up for February and a little bit of March for what I'll be there for. And feeling good, feeling excited. Got some exciting things in store for our members, so it'll be good. But on my way home, I stopped by this little bakery to get four head of fours because I've been craving them. They're so good. They're just little mini cakes and they're delicious. So that's my reward for going out there just for deep clean. But I was gonna get kava for lunch, but honestly, I'm just gonna eat some of these pedivores and that'll be my lunch. And then for dinner, I'll either get takeout or have leftover chili that Justin made this weekend. So I think for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna lay in bed and probably read because like I said, didn't take much of a nap earlier and I open tomorrow, which speaking of tomorrow, my 845 class, cause I work the four morning classes, 5 a.m., 6 15, 7 30 and 845. My 845 class is my 700th class that I'll be coaching. So feeling pretty excited about that, but also nervous because tomorrow is a tornado day at our studio, meaning lots of switches is shorter blocks and the members love them but looking at the template it looks a little scary so hopefully especially by 8 45 i'll have everything figured out but i just want it to be good happy tuesday vlog it's 4 36 just got to the studio where i'm going to coach the four morning classes running into little technical difficulties only because our apple tv remote will not swipe it'll let me click all the buttons but it's not swiping and i need it to swipe to get to today's workout but i was nervous about coaching today's tornado template but actually looking over it it doesn't look as scary as i thought it was going to be even though there are 12 blocks today so that is a lot of time to get a bunch of people to move around the room so hopefully i can get everybody to move very quickly because a lot of the transition times or some of them 
only 60 seconds so it'll be interesting but got the whiteboard out today gonna write this stuff for the rower on the board that way it's just easier for them to see and kind of process but yeah i'm feeling good today took a couple naps yesterday and i was still able to pretty much sleep all night pretty well so now it's like not just my back it's achy from positions i sleep in it's like my stomach does too which is weird so now my back and my stomach are a little sore today but got my belly band that i'll probably put on after this class or maybe even before this class if i feel like i need it but yeah ready to start the day hopefully it'll be good and hopefully everyone enjoys this tornado template if you see my other vlogs you already know i start by turning on all the rowers and i've already done that and this is the vba that i'm trying to turn on but it will not let me swipe but it'll click so i'm just confused why but i just have to get my demo station ready and do this whiteboard Happy Thursday vlog. It is 4.19. I just got to the studio to work the desk until 10. Got here a little early just because I was up and needed to kind of force myself to get up and ready. I've gotten into a really bad habit of turning off my alarm clock. I actually set four alarms every single day. I set my actual alarm clock where 10 minutes before it actually goes off, it starts lighting up the room. And that's usually what I wake up to, but I also set three alarms on my phone. I set one for 3.30, which is also what I set my alarm clock to. Then 3.35, just in case I happen to snooze it. And then four o'clock to let me know that I need to leave my house. So the last one I don't really need, but I have it on there just in case. I get caught up doing something and I need to know when to sleep. Anyway, I keep turning off my actual alarm clock when I wake up to the light and most of the time I turn it off and then go back to sleep. I was in a good habit of turning that off but then turning my bedside table light on. This morning, I didn't do that though. I just felt so tired even though I didn't do anything yesterday. I had such a lazy day. I really stayed in bed and read all day. I started a new book. I rated three stars so it's not worth me talking about but I started that not last night but the night before and so I just spent all day reading that yesterday to finish it and yeah that is all I did all day since today is my busy day I just used that as an excuse to have a nice lazy day yesterday so today is my busy day like I said I work the desk until 10 then I'll go home take a nap for a bit and I have a doctor's appointment at 2 20 and then I coach three classes tonight at the other studio 4 30 5 45 and 7 because we did add a seven o'clock class Tuesdays and Thursdays and now I work those after opening the desk so I'm a little nervous that I'm gonna be exhausted but tomorrow Friday I get to sleep in because I only work or only coach the two evening classes so can't wait to sleep in so happy tomorrow's Friday and yeah I'm just about to send the morning reports like I always do and today is a benchmark day it's the 500 meter benchmark row so once I get everything situated I will get our little board that we do and I'll make a sign for if someone wants to take pictures but speaking of pictures yesterday was my 700th class at 845 and the manager slash head coach they got me balloons that said 700 so I took pictures and and it was very cute and I felt very special and I just can't believe I've coached 700 classes that's crazy also speaking of pictures I need to go to the store and get celery because the little baby in my stomach is currently the size of celery and if you've seen my previous videos where I've taken belly pictures every four weeks I've been trying to take pictures with and without holding the vegetable that it's the size of so it's really crazy seeing it go from a little raspberry to last week or four weeks ago was cabbage so I just like seeing how big it has gotten or he has gotten but yeah when I go to the doctors today I think it'll just be the typical checkup like it has been I don't know when I'm supposed to go every week but I've been going every other week right now to listen to the baby's heart rate or beat and they measure my stomach to see how big it has gotten to make sure everything is right on track so yeah i think they'll do that same thing today and on my chart it says i'm meeting with the doctor but i keep meeting with the nurses so i don't know if i'll actually meet with the doctor or not but yeah let's get this day started start waking up i didn't make coffee because i figured i would need a coffee later 
and when I get home, I need a nap. So I send this report, get everyone assigned to their stations, and there's a good bit of stuff for me to scan today. So I'll keep you busy for a while, and yeah, tomorrow's Friday. Yay. <laughs> It is now 2.04. I just got to the hospital where my doctor's appointment is. After the desk, I immediately went home and took the nicest nap. I didn't get up until like 1.30ish, so a very long nap, and I feel really good. But I'm starting to freak out that I'm going to be late to work, even though I don't think I am. I actually hope I have time to leave here, get some food to eat for like now slash dinner, because I'll be at the studio till after 8 tonight. So, won't be able to eat until then. I do have some almonds as a little snack that I just always keep in my book bag but I just looked at my doctor's app and saw this appointment is another 10 minute appointment so I think they're just gonna listen to the heart rate or heartbeat and measure my stomach to make sure I'm growing how I should I still have 15 minutes before my appointment starts but I think I'm gonna go in and just see if they can get me in a little early but yeah I'm finally in one of the first parking spots in the parking garage so I feel kind of special but I'm in a patient and visitor parking expecting mother's parking spot and this is my first time I've ever been able to get here so feeling special just peed in a cup now waiting on the nurse to get here they just did my blood pressure and it keeps going up every appointment so i'm not sure if that's great but i'm gonna fill it in i fill up the head right there good so every time you come we should be feeling for presentation so we know exactly what part we got perfect baby's heart rate right around 149. it is now 240 didn't take too long and i have plenty of time to get to work let's see how far away i am actually i am 30 minutes away so yeah plenty of time to get to work but appointment went good everything looks normal right on track she also measured where the baby's position was and she said he's head down which is exactly where they want him to be she said they normally want babies head down at 36 weeks but since it's 32 and he already is then we're looking good they also gave me a paper with my global birth price and how much it will be with insurance and how much I have to pay because of my copay and stuff at my appointment so all of that is really confusing to me but since I switched up my insurance from the plan that I had last year it's not going to be as expensive as the first quote that they quoted me with so happy about that she said I'll have two more appointments every other week and then once I hit 36 I'll go every single week I went ahead and scheduled my next appointment and now I'm gonna go get kava I think because kava's right beside the studio I coach at and I've been kind of craving it for the past few days and I need some now and kava's good to also eat later. So, can I please throw a greens and grains bowl? Forgot to show my coffee brewing, but this morning is definitely rough. I am now very certain I am sick. I thought I was just losing my voice yesterday. I think I talked about it. But then last night during coaching, I started getting a little sniffly. And then when I went home, by the time I went to bed, I couldn't breathe out of my nose. I had to keep blowing it. My throat still really hurts. And then this morning, I woke up with so much pressure on my head. So luckily, I have the entire day to just kind of relax. And I'm going to try to find that piece of paper that I got from the doctors that said what kind of medicine I can take. And I'll go to the store and maybe get something because I have to coach two classes today, 3.15 and 4.30, and then I also coach the three morning classes tomorrow. And I just don't want to make my throat worse than it already is. And I know last night was already kind of hard to forecast everything, especially when they had all outs. I was trying to get hype and my voice just would not let me. So I'm hoping by the end of tonight, I'm going to try not to talk a whole lot to the dogs, to the camera today. And yeah, I'm just going to like relax my voice and hopefully I feel better. But I was just thinking, I am eight months pregnant. I haven't had medicine I haven't been sick in this entire eight months so I'm hoping I'm not gonna need any medicine but if I keep feeling the way that I am going to work I don't want to be miserable so I'm gonna take something like Dayquil or something I don't know but I'm also gonna take an immunity shot this morning I was trying to take these literally every other day or every day and then I didn't because I'm like I made it through Christmas being around people who are sick made it through this when people are sick and I never got sick and then here I am weeks later I'm sick I think <laughs> so cheers it feels nice in my throat. Also, so does this coffee. I really want a bowl of cereal, but I don't know how that would feel going down. So it's 8.20. I think I'm just going to go get back in bed and start editing this video, going over the templates for today and tomorrow, and then eventually I'll get up and start cleaning this house. That way I can get the sheets clean, dishes clean, and Justin comes home today from being out of town, so he can come home to a nice clean house. Not even like it's really messy right now, but I just always like cleaning my sheets and everything on Friday and picking up my mess from the week. So happy Friday. So glad it is. Ready.